Hi friends, welcome to my new skit. This time it is on du souvenance, as the French would call it. That is sweet remembrance of British crowd colony of Singapore. Well, I started my basic education from Tong Chai English School, situated at Wayang Street, that is the present Yu Tong Sen Street. It was because we were staying at number 9 Ceylon Road, abutting Senbaga Vinayaka Temple. Senbaga Vinayaka Temple is situated at Ceylon Road in Juchiat Ward. Now, Ceylon Road starts from East Coast Road towards Crane Road, located between Gelang Saray and Marine Parade Road beyond Siglap Beach. Now, it is the main road in the area included in residential conservation consisting of parallel rows of traditional Pranakyan houses, Pranakyan shop houses for residential and commercial purposes. The upper floor of these two story buildings feature casement windows covered with timber shutter or glass panes. My dad works at the SHO, Singapore Harbour Board, the old port of Singapore Authority at Kapil Harbour in Tanjambagar. Tanjambagar is an enclave for hundreds of dock workers Let's call it a predominantly working class Hokkien area. My uncle, who was confidential advisor to police commissioner Sir A. H. Fru at police headquarters in Pearls Hill, Singapore, stays at Southeast Asia Hotel in Waterloo Street. I continued my later education from the Mercantile Institution located at Queen Street. In those days, Ceylon Road, Marshall Road and Juchiat Road in Katong area were side roads abutting East Coast Road and they contained no high-rise development flats. I still cherish sweet memories how, of how on a particular Chak Gome or Chinese New Year I gave Angpo or little red envelope to my English private tutor Miss Maple. Miss Maple is daughter of Chinese Tauke or multi-millionaire who is staying just opposite our house in Ceylon Road. I remember occasional visits to Senbaga Vinayaka temple abutting our house and the Srinivasa Perumal Koil at Upper Sarangun Road near South Ridge Road. We used to see Indian movies, particularly Tamil movies, from Garrick Theatre at Geelong and Royal Theatre at North Bridge Road. Now, two specific incidents where Singapore's army of Indian origin picked my curiosity and aroused in me interest. The first one is with regard to 
the Chinese middle school riot at Bukitima that broke out in September 1956 and which became so uncontrollable that the Gurkha Brigade had to be finally called in to suppress the riot by, by the Premier of Singapore, Lim Yu Hock. The second one is in connection with Queen Elizabeth's visit to Singapore in January 1959, when the Queen honored the Gurkha Regiment at their training center at Sungai Patani by a change of name from Gurkha Brigade to Queen Elizabeth's own Gurkha Rifles. The beginning of 1959, however, marked the dance program of Travancore sisters, Padmini and Ragini, who were in Singapore on outdoor location shooting for Shami Kapoor's Hindi film, Singapore. At the city town hall, there was a grand gala display of Malayan ronging, Chinese ribbon dance, and Indian Bharatanatyam, held in honor of the Queen's, Queen's visit to Singapore. The Indian dance was performed by the Travancore sisters I have just now mentioned, Patmini and Ragini. Me and my dad went to the city hall to witness the program, the grand gala program, gala galore. I think that would now suffice however, for the time being. Well then, gearing up for the week. Have a nice day.